Hey guys, I am back with another video. It has been quite some time, a lot has been going on. We'll probably talk about that in another video. I am in our old school room right here and I have been doing a little bit of retail therapy. Retail therapy never hurt, just my bank account. Um, but I have been shopping around. I've been shopping at Home Goods, Target, online at like Macari. I've been watching the QVC um, Christmas in July special. So I have things to show you. I'm gonna start with Halloween first because Halloween does come up first. And then we'll go into the other stuff that I got for Christmas. I didn't get too much Christmas stuff, but we'll do that second. So let's start with Home Goods. I normally do not go to Home Goods because I always thought it was really expensive. It is not that expensive compared to Target, which is where I normally get Halloween decor at. Home Goods was not terrible and they had some really nice stuff. I definitely will shop at Home Goods again more towards um, Christmas because I really did like their stuff. Anyway, first thing I got was these Ray Dunn towels for Halloween. They were $10 for three and they feel like they're going to be absorbent. This one says spooky, the black one says boo, and the white one says, let me just open it, happy Halloween. I thought they were really cool. Again, $10 for three. I feel like that's comparable to Target. So pick up that. And then today we actually went back because there was a piece that I really wanted to pick up and I was regretting not picking it up. And I happened to see these towels there too. These were $12.99 and there is, it is a two pack. There you go. It's a bunch of pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, but there's like all different looks to the pumpkins. Let me open this one too. And either before or after this video, I will do a short video of more of the decorations at Home Goods. I went there and I took a quick video. Um, yeah, so I picked up these two. Again, these feel extra thick. I think they're going to be really nice. I'm so used to Dollar Tree's towels that like other towels seem really higher quality in Dollar Tree. Nothing against Dollar Tree, but they're definitely more for show in my opinion than actually use. And I think these will be both show and use. Next thing I picked up, my daughter actually talked me into getting this. I went to Home Goods looking for a different ghost. I did not find the ghost I was looking for. It did seem like they are constantly putting out new stuff because we went yesterday. And then the stuff I seen today, some of it was new and some of the stuff I seen yesterday was completely gone. So um, it's definitely a store where I feel like if you want it, grab it because you're not gonna see it again. Anyway, I picked up this ghost. This was $14.99 and it's a pretty thick wooden ghost. It feels like with the right care and packaging it well throughout the year that um, it will last for quite some time. Either way, Bella loved this and I couldn't pass it up. Halloween is not just for me, it is also for my kids. So if they see something they like, I tried to pick it up for them. Okay, this is the whole reason why I went to Home Goods to begin with. I wanted this piece right here. I did see it in a smaller size in gold and black, but I didn't want those two. I like the bigger one better. I think all of them are worth the price that they were, um, but I definitely like the bigger one because I have the Ghoulish Garden from a Target from years and years ago when it first came out. And some of those pieces are rather tall. So I figured this one being this size would fit better than the smaller ones. This is a Martha Stewart LED decor. That's what they call it. There it goes on. It does have a switch on its bottom. There it goes on and off. Anyway, this is the piece I originally went for and I was so happy to find it. They did have more today. So I definitely think if you're looking for it and maybe yours doesn't have it to just check back. This was $39.99 and the smaller one that was probably half this size was $15.99. Either way, love it. I'm so excited to have this and put this in with our decor. And then the last thing I got from Home Goods, this was the thing I went back for today because I felt like I was regretting leaving it behind, is this giant eyeball in a hand. So at first I was not in love with it. I thought it was cool, but like, I don't know. I didn't feel like I had to have it. And then I got to thinking this year, I got rid of a lot of my flat spaces. So like I got rid of our entryway table. You see there's no table behind here anymore. I got rid of a lot of our flat surfaces. That's what I meant, not spaces. I got rid of a lot of our flat surfaces. So when I decorate, I'm not gonna have a lot of room like that. 
But I felt like this was big enough and a statement enough that I could leave it on my floor somewhere, maybe in with my plants or something like that. And you will still get the Halloween feel. I have to remember that when I go decor hunting this year is that I just don't have like flat surfaces to put a lot on. Anyway, it's huge, it's big, and it does light up. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see right there. You see that purple light right on top? It does light up. So this is the piece that I felt like I had to go back for. Uh, how much was it? This one was $39.99 too. Absolutely love it. I think it's going to be a great piece in um, our house somewhere. All right, the next thing is I'm gonna show you is actually from Target. Target started putting out its fall and Halloween stuff in certain sections of the store. They just put out their school supply stuff in my store, but there was other places hidden in the store that I did find some fall and Halloween stuff. So this is what I got. Okay, first thing I picked up was this nail polish. You could pick this up at any time of the year, but I happened to see it on the way out. And since I was in the fall Halloween mood, I picked it up for fall and Halloween. This is the color to die for. So I picked that up. Then I picked up this fall candle. I don't know if they had these scents last year. I think some of them they did. So maybe they just put out extra stuff that they had from last year. Um, I think the other one I got is new, but I, I kind of remember this one from last year. Either way, I love the smell and I don't have any fall candles right now. So I picked this up, it was $10. And then this is the one I don't remember seeing last year. I picked up this one also for, I'm going to guess it was also $10 because this is the same thing. It just doesn't have a price on the bottom. Here you go. I picked up this Halloween candle. They had a few different Halloween candles, a few different fall candles, but I only picked up these two. It smells so good. And they are soy candles. I did pick up one more candle. It's not themed. It was just one of the regular candles and I have been burning that. Absolutely love that. But I am starting to see a little bit of fall and a little bit of Halloween at Target. So I'm real excited for that. Okay, the last three things I wanna show you are actually Christmas. I happen to be on Macari and I seen a few things that I want to pick up, but then I was also watching QVC, so I picked something up there too. The first thing I picked up was from Macari and it's this, it's actually from CVS. It's this Bubble Chase Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer set. Oh, I hope you guys can see that because of the glare from my grow lights. But I thought this would be really cool to have this year. I don't have any Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer stuff. Um, so when I seen this and I did try to look around, it was the only one I could find new in box. It was only, I believe it was $20, $25, somewhere along there. Um, I seen it, I picked it up. I thought it was a great price. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to actually put it together and I can't wait to actually put it together. I believe the little guys go around this circle and it plays some music. Anyway, it says it was originally 20 bucks from CVS. I think I paid 25 on Macari and then shipping. So yeah, I felt like I had to get it even though we're not even close to Christmas. And I will put it away for when Christmas comes. The next thing I got were these candle holders. I seen these on Macari too. And I don't know, I felt like I had to have them. Chase cleaned them up for me. They are three different size Christmas tree candle holders. They do say... Where's the good sticker? They are from International Silver Company or something like that. Handmade silver plated. So I got all three of them. It came in a set and I cannot wait to use these for Christmas with some red or green candles. I'm not sure yet, but I fell in love with them and they were a great price on Macari. So I picked those up. Macari gets me with some of their prices sometimes. I do think a lot of their sellers, not all of them, but I do think a lot of their sellers price fairly. Um, so it's easy just to kind of add the cart and check out. Okay, the last thing I got came from QVC's Christmas in July sale. I did pick this up on clearance. They were fading out. They had a lot of colors, but by the time I got around to it, red was the only color. I happen to love red, so I don't mind but I will be keeping an eye out in case they do restock them in other colors because I did want like a brown and an orange. Anyway, I end up picking up a set of these hurricane vases. I believe that's what they call them. They both come with a string of fairy lights. So that's nice. And they're both red, obviously. It was a pair of them. 
But I think that's gonna be really cool for when Christmas comes. I'm sure you can also use this for fall. It is more like a deep red. So I think you can use it for fall too. My plan was Christmas, but I think fall wouldn't be half bad. It is a thicker glass, so I am happy about that. And they did say you could use it as a vase. So if I wanted to, you could fill it with water. I don't plan on doing it. I plan on using it with the fairy lights, like how they did in the show. But I picked up two of those and they were on a discounted price. They do kind of have a strong smell to them, but I'm sure once I actually get them out and use them, they will air out just fine. So that is all that I bought for our first holiday haul. I am so excited for the holidays this year and the cooler weather. I'm enjoying the summer and I'm trying to take it one day at a time. But when I see certain stores bringing out Halloween and fall, I'm like super excited for it. So let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing. If you guys like shopping at Home Goods, I think I'm going to make it a thing to actually try to go there right before the holidays because I do think they have some good pieces for a good price. I think if this was at like Home Depot, it would have been double the price easy. Um, even Target, I think, would have been double the price. So let me know down in the comments if you like shopping at Home Goods. I know there's a few other places that already have Halloween out. My Michaels had Halloween out, and I wanted to grab a few pieces from there, but I had to. I had to rein it in and, you know, pick exactly what I know I'm going to use and not what I think I'm going to use. So I know my Michaels has Halloween out. My Target's starting to get Halloween out. Um, Home Goods obviously had Halloween out. I can't wait for Home Depot to start getting Halloween out. <sighs> anyway, I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.